Great sounds 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. And I'm IT Explosive One, and we have a special guest again. Jeremiah. I don't ah, know. he's back. Is it special on day three? Is he? I don't know. I'm glad you've taken time out of your day to come with us three straight days in a row to record yeah. a podcast. I've been and wearing we're... the same shirt. <laughs> hey. I forgot to change shirts, too. Yeah, me too. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, anyways, we're bringing some more topics Jeremiah sent me over. Let me uh, go with this. Uh, we'll go with actual we'll ask you, Jeremiah. What makes you like a song? Like, what, what, what drives you in liking a particular song or not liking it? Probably ri- rhythm more than anything. Um, okay. Melody's cool and all that, but. A song moves me, it moves air, and you know that's kind of the way I look at it. If I hear something that's um, even like straight for boom, boom, like something you hear in house music, is that mm-hmm. if if that's done in the right context, that'll catch your attention. And then on the other end, you got something like metal, which is a, a lot of hits really quick. And mm-hmm. you know, if you're at a show, that stuff feels like you're getting beat up. You feel it inside your body because it's loud yeah. enough. So. That's probably yeah. what catches me and, and makes a good song. Oh, that makes sense. And TNT, you know, actually, I, that, I, that, I remind you that. And, like, I know TNT, I know you said you've been to a lot of concerts and stuff. And I know you like heavy music. I need to take you to an actual, like, a metal show because he's right. It feels like it's fucking making your heart, like, because it's so fucking loud. It's like, it's like, especially if you, or if you go to, like, a techno type show and, like, the ba- it's like, it's like, holy shit. It feels shit. like the music's coming out of you instead of going into you. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm game. I'm game. Yeah, we'll find a metal show in Austin. We'll go. I'll, I love going to metal shows because it's 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 an interesting experience. <laughs> Anyways, TNT, you're about liking a song. Uh, I guess for me, I guess lyrically, if I'm listening to something, I want it to, you know, if you have you ever like listened to a song and it, it gives you like almost like chills when you listen mm-hmm. to it, like mm-hmm. like the melody will be so beautiful that it, like gives you like chills or like whatever the lyrics are that's what i i'm looking for in in a in a competent song or in a song that's gonna uh mm-hmm. that's gonna get heavy rotation on my playlist right I, I need a melody or i need the lyrical content to just give me an emotional response and uh mm-hmm. very are you few more, songs do that What's are that? you more about like um the content of the lyrics or the way that the person delivers it with their voice uh, it, like it, you it, like a story or yeah, you know a little I mean? bit of a little bit of both, honestly. If the content of the lyrics are are something that I can relate to or something that that moves me, that's beautiful. But on the same note, if it's just like if it's constructed in a way where like you don't even have to be talking about anything relevant. Like I used to listen to a lot of Bush back in the day, <laughs> <laughs> and like a lot of match, a lot of uh, uh, wallflowers. Okay, they don't talk about anything. This, right. It's just like abstract, just word vomit, but yet you still get like some beautiful songs out of you mm-hmm. in that. You know? That makes sense. Yeah, for me it's uh it's it's more lyrical than anything. And it's great if it has a good story, but I'm more about like word play and the way that things are said than anything. Like it's you know, if you can come up with some stuff and I'm like, Oh, that was good. Like that was that was a that was a good way you mix those lyrics, you know, or whatever. That's something that'll catch me a lot. Or like you said, the way they're deliberate, like their 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 tone or their enunciation or like the flow and like with rap, it's with rap with me, it's a lot of like if you could take the music away and just listen to them rap and in the in the the way they're rapping it has like a melody or like whatever and it, yeah and it doesn't necessarily have to make sense but like the flow kind of really sells it to me like i could be like i don't give a hell what you're saying but like that flow is nice like <laughs> that'll that'll sell me on it for sure and then with Absolutely. rock and with rock i like it more with a story i guess and you know it's interesting because like death metal i re- i respect death metal to the end of time and I like listening to death metal because it's like, it's so hard to play like that fast, that rhythmically, but it loses something to me that I can't understand what the lyrics are in the song. Yeah. And, you know, and it, you know, so it's like, it's, if I want like a boost of like adrenaline, like, yeah, cool. I'll put on some like lamb of God or like whatever, like, and I may not be able to understand what the hell you're saying, so, but so you, you couldn't listen to a music that was in a, a different language. Like I'm not gonna catch you listening to K-pop anytime soon. So no, but I will say like that song by Sublime, like Chupa Matipo, like that song, like 
like it's, he's in Spanish and it, it flows, dude. And like, I don't know what the hell he's saying, but like, you know, mucho gusto, me llamo Bradley, uh, I'm Tony. Like, I oh, mean, yeah. dude, like you can, you can flow in any language. So I guess because my favorite, my favorite gorilla song is uh, Latin Simone. And that's the song that's completely in Spanish. <laughs> que pasa contigo, mi hermano? I love right. it. That's my I, favorite I song. I listen to Rammstein. They're, they're in German. I took two years of German in high school to kind of learn what they were saying. <laughs> right. And I remember, like, back way a long time ago when we used to work together, you'd be like, oh, yeah, dude, the li their lyrics are, like, so kind. and like, like Some of them are love yeah. songs and stuff. Yeah, and some of but them it's are. in German, so yeah. yeah everything. You don't know. Yeah, it, it just sounds scary. sounds intense. Yeah, dude. It yeah. Death like metal. Road rage. You pull up the lyrics to death metal, there's some scary stories in there. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, read along with it. You'll get a hear for it if you if you do it enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. I just went to see Cannibal Corpse like a month oh, ago. Nice. It was a like date night. Like we're nice. gonna go see Cannibal Corpse. Hammer no, smash that's, face. That's sweet. Um, you know, interesting tidbit that I didn't know, and then we a long time ago somehow landed the drummer of Goldfinger to come on the podcast and interview him. And so I did my research before we did that. He was in a band with the guys in Cannibal Corpse before Cannibal Corpse and before and before Goldfinger. And I remember oh, wow. saying to him, I was like, how would you like to tour with those guys now? And he was like, we have a totally different fan base. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. Like, get the Goldfinger <laughs> and the Cannibal Corpse crew together. But uh, but yeah, like I was like, oh, wow. How how interesting, you know, that that I, I would go to that show. It sounds like <laughs> it goes. <laughs> right. You could I watch like... and then hold hands. Yeah, chill when out I, afterwards. When I was married, we went and saw Anti Flag and Real Big Fish. <laughs> so like yeah, hardcore punk and ska. Like it was, yeah, it was a it was a weird mix. But I mean, it was like they're both old as hell. So it was just a bunch of old people being like, is, "Yeah, dude, is Real Big Fish ska?" Yeah, 100%. yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, because they got horns big, and like shit. Big yeah. band style. Whatever. Yeah. Bum, bum, ska. Na, 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 na. It was around for like six months in the nineties. Yeah, you had that you had mighty mighty Boston's yeah, bare naked yeah. ladies. Yep. Like I'm sure there's still people that listen to it, but like it it f definitely fell off. But there's like I mean, because like the swing dancing crowd is really into yeah. ska. That's like the yeah. same kind of like, but scroll swing dancing zippers. Yeah, scroll up zippers. Yeah, I'm in ska. the afterlife, we're getting copy copy ID match for me singing. Yeah, I scroll used to love ska. I was a on. ska fanatic, so I definitely miss it. I was yeah. like big in the no doubt. Oh yeah, that's a, probably before they the got biggest ska band. Yeah, before yeah. they got famous, they were yeah. they were real ska. Yeah, mm -hmm. then they turned into like love ballads and shit. And then Gwen Stefani kicked them all to the curb and got yeah. famous. She hosts a talk show or something now. Does she? <laughs> <laughs> She's like <laughs> Kelly Clarkson. No, okay, oh yeah, that's what it is. We yeah. Show TV her, somehow. Her and Kelly Clarkson are hanging out. But yeah, like I used to go. My buddy used to uh, work the door at this bar in Youngstown. And I would go and hang out with him while he was working the door and stuff. And they had they would do like swing night and like swing dancing is really was that interesting. Cedars? Yeah, it was. Yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. I've been to swing night. <laughs> yeah. Um and uh and yeah, like they it's really interesting to watch people who know how to swing dance properly. Like oh, yeah. I'm like, oh shit, like this is like entertaining. Like, yeah. It's a workout, man. I'm not, oh yeah. I'm yeah, not comfortable with throwing a woman up in the air and then catching her. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. I'm not clutch. All right. I've just told Jonas this today. I'm not clutch. I'm going to drop you. You're probably right? the most physically capable right now of, of doing that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get get a nice little petite lady. You could. Yeah. You could yeah, throw her okay, up in there. Oh, no, oh, 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 there's yeah, there, there's the gun. gun. Oh, shit. We're, we're hey, this is no carry. OK, it's a no okay carry look, we're in Texas. Open carry state. Boom. I got a gun here. Got another one. <laughs> Double barrels. But yeah, like uh yeah, like, I don't know. Is there any other kinds of music that really, like, you know what? Dubstep really came on strong, and then, like, it's really fell off over, like, yeah. people are like, Skrillex, who was that? Like, Listen, you... The novelty of it wears off, right? Yeah. I guess, yeah. I never really liked Dubstep to begin no, with, to be honest. I'm not. I get it. When you're in a, when you're in a, we're in a place and it's playing, it's, yeah, like, I was at, uh, I went to ACL, the festival here, and it was, uh, Skrillex was the headliner with somebody else, I Major think. Major Lazer. And like it was like, yo, I saw Major Laser live at ACL, oh, dude. Cool. Even in an outdoor venue, it still makes it feel like it's fucking coming out of your chest. Like it's like it's way better in a small club though. Like if you can get oh, yeah. like an intimate venue, like not even an arena show, holy shit, you feel like sometimes it's like you want to puke though. It's like so much. It's like oh, see, vibrating your. That. Yeah, that's the <laughs> intense things. That I love a small venue because the the nice thing about small venues always general admittance. So. 
I have just as much claim as anyone else to wherever I want to be. Right. So I walk hmm. right up there, and you know the people I, I watch and perform. There's no one between me and them. The, yep. The cats are stepping on my fingers. I got them on stage. Like yeah, that, yeah. To me, is cool. Oh, sometimes if they're wearing gym shorts, you can like see. <laughs> yeah, you can't do that outside in like a giant amphitheater. You know, you, you got an assigned seat. You're expected to sit when everyone's sitting, so you're not in the way. Like. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel? How do you feel about mosh pits? Are you pro mosh pit? Yeah, uh, mosh pits are awesome. Um, I don't go on them very much now, being an older gentleman. But it, it's uh, everyone's running each other, wrestling around. Uh, I guess you could say. But there's like an etiquette there. You know, if someone's yeah, right. knocked yeah, down, you yeah. pick them up. Someone wants out, you let them out. Um, it's it's letting the music move you to do something you wouldn't do any any other time. And yeah. what helps that is it's loud. Like I've been to Atlantis Morris set. I've never seen a mosh pit there, but right. Animal Corp, you know, half the people are acting up. You just stay out of that area. It's yeah. not like a mosh pit just breaks out wherever and you're in you're in harm. It's in the front of the stage. It's probably six people back, and then depending on how big the show is, it, it's like a pool. It's circle. Circular. It can be it's giant, man. I've been yeah. at, I've been at big shows where it was fucking huge, and you're like, oh my god. But it's very controlled violence. Yeah. Because it's like, and like, if, yeah, if somebody needs out and like, and, and the other thing too, it very much polices itself. Cause if some asshole gets in and starts being ignorant, people oh, yeah, will fuck, will him, fuck up. him up or throw him the fuck out. Like one of the yeah. two, like get in there it's and start like, swinging fists. Like you're going to get sparring. If you've ever out. done that, if you're into fighting or anything, it's, it's like sparring. You don't really want to hurt no one. You just want to let them know you're there. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm here. Oh shit. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, dude, mosh pits are mosh pits were. Yeah, I would never I go into mosh pit now. I used to, when I was younger, dude, I spent the whole show in the damn mosh pit. You know, yep. it's like just pushing people around, getting your teen angst out. You know, like it's. <laughs> I kind of like, want to oh. jump back in one just to see how I can hold up, but yeah, you know, on the same note, I'm like, I understand. Yeah. I don't I need to not... not be able to walk tomorrow. <laughs> right, like, exactly. so I'm back out. <laughs> right, right. I don't need to miss any work because I wanted to show how awesome yeah, I right. was at a concert. Yeah. So it's a young man sport. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Uh, please make sure to like and subscribe. Go to thecrazytown.com. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Jeremiah. Uh, Jeremiah. We are out. <laughs> <laughs>